Well, precise medicine historically has been tailoring care around the patient's needs. What I'm really going to talk about this evening at the King's Fund is precise medicine, which is one of the most striking scientific advances which is about to hit healthcare systems. The ability to precisely diagnose a condition based on the patient's genome, their makeup, and, uh, and the environment in which they're living in, and then tailor drugs uh, that are specific and we know that they could actually target uh, and impact that disease entity. Uh, probably the best way to, ex to explain to you now, if there are 100 people in this room who have migraine, uh, we have two or three different medications we can give them and we give it to the 100 and we know only 20 will respond and the other 80 would not probably even get side effects. In the future we will know who the responders are. I mean, historically, the way, for example, I practice medicine is what we call the intuitive way of diagnosis, where I could listen to your symptoms, I could examine you, and we are taught in medical school to have a list of different conditions that might give you these symptoms. This is the intuitive thing, and that's why you needed a consultant or an expert uh, to really suss out exactly what is wrong with you as a patient. In the last two or three decades, we've moved into so-called evidence-based. In other words, you know, what's the evidence base that supports this? We're talking about in the future being much more precise. So you don't even need a doctor. You can actually do a, a very simplistic test. You know exactly what that diagnosis is.